Life in America's heartland had always been simple for me. I married my high school sweetheart Elizabeth, and together we built a happy life in our little corner of the world. The birth of our baby girl Sophie three years into our marriage brought us even closer, bonding us together as a family. My mother-in-law June was a godsend, helping out with Sophie while Liz and I worked. Even in her mid-sixties, June was still a strikingly beautiful woman tall and slender with luminous olive skin and cascading dark hair streaked with silver. Her eyes were a piercing green that seemed to look right through to my soul. She carried herself with grace and poise that drew the admiration of all who met her. I couldn't help but admire her warmth, vitality, and inner strength. However, I remained devoted to Liz and Sophie. Over the years, June and I grew close, like family. She was always warm and affectionate with me, more so than her reserved nature with others. I felt I could talk to her about anything. She too seemed to confide in me more than her own friends. There was an ease to our relationship that went beyond typical in-law bounds. Then tragedy struck my beloved Liz was killed in a terrible car accident. My world shattered in an instant. June comforted me day and night in my grief and helped care for Sophie. Her steady presence during this darkest of times meant more than she could know. She would hold me as I cried, reassuring me things would get easier. Her scent and touch brought me calm when nothing else could. Over the months, I realized my feelings for June had grown deeper than I could have imagined. One evening as we sat by the fire, I confessed I had fallen in love with her. To my astonishment, she admitted she harbored feelings for me too, but loyalty to Liz had prevented her from acting on them. We held each other and wept for the love lost and the love found. From that moment on, June and I were inseparable. We agreed to be together and create a new family. The gossip was fierce, but we found solace in each other's arms. My traditionalist mother harshly condemned our relationship, refusing contact with me. I understood her perspective, but could not turn away from this unexpected second chance at love and partnership. Now I find myself torn between the conventions of society and the stirrings of my heart. I do not know if this unconventional path is right or wise. But through openness, patience, and compassion, I hope my loved ones can someday understand the complexities of the human heart. For now, I take one day at a time, grateful for this bittersweet second chapter life has granted me.